Sir Oiland. You again. I, I, Have you I, got I, this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Sir Ryland. A stable boy was, in Fatherman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. Uh, oh, and you've got fucking stole oh, to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. <laughs> And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead? The Forrester? <sighs> Look at the colors! Lee! Now! Boy! I'll dump him in the river then! Damn it. You come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? I, I heard you! That was a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, sir. <clears throat> <clears throat> Seven <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you, sir. Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester. Roderick! I guess we have four characters now that we are. This makes sense. That does not sound good though. Also does look good. My lord, you should not be awake. Oh, oh, oh. Milk of the, the milk of the puppy. Yep. Drink. Come now. Oh. That's it. Roderick! My lady. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Only if you let me finish my work. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Be silent. I'm still shocked. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't look fine. That's true. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. your face oh yeah no, I'll carry that scar with me forever these wounds will heal They're sexy though man's got a neat scar we'll back in the day self before we know it Roderick there's something you need to know Ethan is dead Ethan Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan demanded he let me go. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? I can't. 
can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. It's too early for um, Roderick I to like, already remember French. Like, he barely knows what's going on, I think. Is, uh, I got a lot of things about to think about. You know? Lost my leg almost. Father died. Everything's in ruins. Let me stay silent for a while, you know? It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you, I just... It's all right. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. I guess we'll see. I have no idea yet how I'm going to roleplay this guy, though. Not too clear yet what his personality would be. I missed you, brother. Like I said, we have Garrett, who's going to be kind of like me, I guess. This, We're roleplaying like me. Then we have... Mira, it's gonna be sn sneaky and sly. Asher, or who's going, or Asher, who's going to be brute, and this guy, too. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, good luck. I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? And up we go. That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Not sure if this image is any better. Though, I think you'll like find that much has changed. Oh, snap. Garrett has arrived. Tuttle is the name, huh? Garrett Tuttle. He's a bad motherfucker. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Yep, enjoy your nights of not having sex. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. I'm a recruit, not just a visitor. Maybe I said that in the town below, I don't know.
Now, Jon Snow was already on the front, so I know he's in it, but I wonder if Sam or Pip is in it. Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. <laughs> Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Mm. Cause you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. <laughs> I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Okay. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits. Are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Yeah, well. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. Not bad. <laughs> Use. What the fuck? Huh. It's warm. Okay. Ah, oh, that's what you call thrust finger, huh? Hello. <clears throat> you recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. He didn't say you were Frostfinger, what the fuck? Who are you, boy? I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. No, actually, that's not true. You're no liar, either, Garrett Tottle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Okay. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. So silent. Like I said, I'm role-playing this kind of like I am. I am no hero. Though I will no, protect my family, I'll we'll start your training in the morning. I will but kill today, for you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Great. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. Oh, yeah, no, I when know. It comes. Try to make it quick. <sighs> Maybe I should go gay at this night, Night's Watch or something. Well, we're going fast through this chapter. Are we going three? And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... Essos. They give us month-old bread. Gah, there's fucking worms in it. And Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die... The Whitehill soldiers always seem to be angry. And we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. I have blood in my eye, too. Oh, crap. Oh, we're you know gonna what get else? bullied. No fucking wine. It's not gonna go well. There must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? 
These idiots. <laughs> he's had a run in with Walder Frey, did And he's you? leaning on a girl. Yeah, see, I told you this image was even more harsh. Forrest is a Real cursed. shame about your leg, my oh, Who gives a toss? Don't uh, let go of your sister now. Kill all you. We have you? business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. Ah, great. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Got him! Got some authority here. Respect my authority. Go on then, my lord. Oh, he's plotting something. Is he gonna make a trip? Nope. Bye. I think the garrison is 20 men that are here. Let's go. Apparently, we don't have that many, which is shite. It's madness. You can't starve them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No oh, yeah. thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! No, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Ryland! Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted! He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage! And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Silence! I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. That's Apologies more authority than Lord. Ethan. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. Oh, well, fuck me then. You forget the Glenmores. Who? You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Oh, great. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. 
Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'll secure 